Hi, I'm Kurt, and welcome back to CompSci in 5. Today, we're going to continue on learning about data structures with the queue. The queue is similar to the stack in the sense that they both are implementations of a linked list. To refresh our memories on what a stack is, it's a LIFO data structure, which means last in, first out. It's a, it has a head, it keeps reference to a head, which is the top of the stack, right there. And it has these operations of push and pop. Push is when you add a node onto the top of the stack, whereas pop is you remove a node from the top of the stack. Because you're only dealing with the top of the stack, you only need to pay attention to where the head or the top of the stack is. Queues, so stacks are vertical. Queues, on the other hand, are horizontal. And we deal with queues our whole lives as humans. We have to wait in lines for a lot of things, a lot of services. And to give you a little feel about what a queue is, as per usual, I brought in some toys for you. So we got some state-of-the-art Hot Wheels vehicles that I used to play with when I was but a wee lad. And we are going to take them through a car wash, and they are going to have to wait in line. So if these cars were driving around, and they decided that they all want to get their car washed, they would get in line to get their car washed. Notice how this orange car can't cut in front of the black car because that's not how lines work. It's first come, first serve. Similarly, the blue car must be at the end, and the black car must be at the end. So let's introduce a little bit of nomenclature. So this node right here would be called the head. It can be thought of the front of the queue. And here, this node can be thought of as the tail or the end of the queue. Now, so the operations that a queue performs are a end queue, and a D queue. So, basically, if we go back to our car wash example, when there is no line, the queue is empty. Then the first one, this black and red car, gets enqueued, which means he's added to the front of the queue. This one, if they were enqueued, they're put here. This orange car is now behind the black car. This blue car also wants to get his car washed, so we enqueue him, put him at the back. This black silver car, also enqueued, put him in the back. DQ is when you remove a node from the front of the queue. So when you DQ the black and Red car, it goes in, gets its car washed, DQ this one, goes in, gets its car washed, DQ the blue, in she goes, DQ the black silver, in she goes, all the cars get their cars washed, everyone's happy in Hot Wheel Land. And those are the operations. So what to keep in mind is that these are very similar in the fact that they have a head. Right, this is the top of the stack, this is the front of the queue. What's different is this has a tail, which is the end of the line. Right? Think of it as the back of the line. The operations are push and pop for a stack, NQ and DQ for a queue. Push and NQ are very similar. Push, you add a node on top of the stack, where NQ is you add a node to the back of the line. Pop and DQ are also similar. Pop, you remove a node from the top of the stack, where DQ is you remove a node from the front of the line. So the head node gets to go get their car washed. If you were dealing with data, that was of type car. So then, as far as the main thing to remember in terms of an acronym for this data structure, is that a Q is a FIFO. Which means first in, first out. You can see that when whoever comes first gets served first. Stack is LIFO, which means whoever comes last is served first. Thank you. That's all the time we have.
Count saying five. Live it, love it, be it.